is the place for politics in this hour. We're asking the question, will undecided voters choose Barack Obama or John McCain? Sabrina Schaefer is a senior fellow with the Independent Women's Voice. Sabrina, good to see you today. Great. Thanks for having me on. So the candidates here have spent nearly two years. We have heard speech after speech, rally after rally. At this point, is there anything left to find out that could change the minds of undecided voters? Yeah, I know I'm going to be going against the tide when I say this, but I say that, yes, there is something that can still change their minds and that McCain still has a chance in winning those undecided voters, and I can tell you why. The fact is the sort of classic election scenario is that undecideds go by default with the with the incumbent. And this election, sort of everyone's assumed that the incumbent um, is John McCain. He's a This would be a referendum on the last eight years of a Republican presidency. The fact is the Obama mania that we've seen really changes this whole picture. The, now, Senator Obama is really the incumbent. He is the bandwagon. And the fact that there's undecideds that still haven't jumped on that Obama bandwagon really gives McCain some room to still navigate. We, uh, we heard from a woman earlier who owns a, a diner, a restaurant in Pennsylvania, who still has right. not made up her mind. At this point, why? What kind of information are undeciders, undecided voters looking for that could sway them one way or the other? Yeah, I heard her. And, you know, the thing is, at this late in the game, sort of undecided voters, their set of considerations and their political views are really fluid. And I don't think that there's any one particular policy prescription that's going to, you know, have that particular cafe owner, for instance, go either to Obama or to Senator McCain. I think what Senator McCain really needs to do is just to continue hammering home the fact that we don't really know who Senator Obama is. And he needs to persuade the American people that he's the more trusted candidate and he would be better equipped to be commander in chief and i think that then people are going to go with their gut instinct and and they're going to be apt to to side with senator mccain we have been uh, seeing all kinds of records broken in this political election season um, in, in primary turnout in young voters turning out to vote in the primaries in early voting in the numbers of african americans showing up to early voting is there any easy way to predict what will happen next Tuesday, considering how the rules are changing? Right. If I, if I knew that, then I guess I would be um, a very wealthy woman. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think there's anything that we can predict. Oh, it looks like our satellite there has uh, frozen up. And, well, you know what else to do when you have a satellite issue? Go to the satellite desk and to Tamron Hall. Tamron. Hey, Contessa. We're following a couple.